Yo, what is up everyone, it's Baron. What's happening? <laughs> Yo, what's up everyone, it's Baron. Today I'm gonna watch True Terrifying Horror Story Animated. I was driving home from work one night around 9 p.m. midweek, so the roads were quiet. As I was driving downhill, I heard a sound that was like a jet engine running behind me. The next thing I know, a car goes flying past me going twice the speed limit. It looked like a fairly old and crappy car, and the car started to get the speed wobbles. Then one of the tires came flying off and rolled at high speeds downhill while the car spun out and crashed. I stopped my car to make sure whoever was inside was okay. A guy got out of the car and looked over at me and then started moving extremely quickly towards me. I don't know why, but I hit my internal locks on the car, which was fortunate, because no more than two seconds later... The guy started grabbing at the driver's side door and smashing on my windscreen with his fists trying to get in. I'll never forget the look he had in his eyes. I put my foot down on the accelerator and drove off back home. I decided to swap cars once I got home and drove back to see what was going on. I saw two fire trucks and about four police close to where the incident happened. When I got back to the crash site, the guy was no longer there, so I decided to head home. The next day of work, I was online and bored, reading the news, when I saw an article that shocked me. The article was about a guy who had been in a police chase for one hour, and the police stopped chasing him because it was becoming too dangerous. Turns out the guy was high on meth, had stolen a car an hour's drive away, and had been in a hot pursuit since. After crashing the car, the guy apparently crossed to the other side of the road and hailed the first car that appeared, which was a taxi. He got into the taxi and stole it. In the process, he pushed the driver out of the driver's side door, and the driver got stuck and dragged at speeds. The driver died from the incident. I called the police and had a detective assigned to me, he fingerprint checked my car and got a statement. I had to testify in the Supreme Court as a key witness in a murder trial. The guy got 30 years and they told me that my testimony was one of the main factors in convicting him. I often think back to that night and wonder if I hadn't locked my doors, would I have been the one who got murdered? Yeah, basically, if he didn't lock his door, he would have got murdered. And that's not even any old murder, it's a fucking brutal one, man. Dragging the guy across the road with the door closed on him. It's next level shit. But, fucking hell, man. What else can I say? I say this all the time. Why do people like this exist? And when he came closer to him and just did that weird looking face as well. That creeped me out man. I know it's just an animation but can you imagine that same face in real life? It's fucked. I don't get why people like this exist like I said. At least this time it wasn't uh, a paedophile like most videos. And there's a new type of animation they added this time as well. It was like bird's eye view sh shit going on there. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. I liked that. Because it actually shows exactly what happened. And like the blood stain on the on the road. As he just dragged his whole freaking body across. It's crazy shit. Crazy shit man. <laughs> man. Alright. If, if I got into that situation. I'll definitely use the door lock like he did man. I don't trust people nowadays now. Watching too many of these videos is making it even worse now. 
It wasn't any of this like witchcraft shit like I've seen in previous videos here. Yeah. But if you relate this to real life here, yeah, this just animation, then you'll think it's creepy. But it's based on a true story, so obviously it will be creepy. Will be. <laughs>